Sailing by night on these boats is pretty fun actually, uh, especially if there's a moon out. Sometimes during the day you really concentrate on trying to catch all the waves, whereas at night you can just rely on the feel and the instruments and not worry about catching waves and sometimes even it's even faster. You have to always be vigilant and have a really good feel for what's going on because you can't see what's going on. So yeah, there's generally a more serious tone, I would say, to night sailing than there is to day sailing. There is not many sports, uh, there is not uh, many moments in the life you are able to, to, to live uh, during the night and it's uh, just like uh, just like you've got a very uh, very <laughs> on the boat you, you're sleeping uh, uh, three hours uh, during the day three hours during the night but you're enjoying uh, much more the different moments of, uh, of a full day and, and for me that's that's why I, I love offshore sailing you feel like you're living uh, your your life uh, very fully But sometimes it's very tired because uh, normally during the night, no everybody was sleeping. We are still uh, sailing, fighting with the full speed to gain the other computers. But it's cool. This is the life of the Volvos and race. purely done on uh, feel and, and what the boat's uh, behaving like. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool when you get it right and uh, it's not so good when you get it wrong. And beside your feel, you use um, the numbers on the mast. We set them on night vision mode, what we call it, is uh, the numbers instead of white numbers, white light, they go red because the white light blinds you and uh, the red light is uh, your night vision. Sailing by night for us is a big challenge because by day it's okay, by night we've got always the head torch of Pascal <laughs> just here at the hatch looking at us. It's okay? No, it's not okay. We don't see anything anymore. <laughs> Sometimes we had a shadow, but it was really cool. He stayed a long time with us. It's 